We're pretty excited about this one. As the summer heat approaches, it's a good time to start thinking about what we'll all do if we don't get much rain this season. Right, the water emergency going on right now in Twin Falls is a pressing reminder about the importance of water conservation. Joining us with water conservation tips this morning is Fernando Gonzalez from the Home Depot. Welcome. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, you got up early this morning. We appreciate yep. you making it no into the problem. studio. Now, of course, one of the biggest areas where people can conserve water is, of course, watering their lawns because it's not something as necessary as drinking and bathing, that kind of exactly. stuff. So let's talk a little bit about sprinklers. What would you say is the number one thing people can do with their sprinklers to conserve water? Well, the most I think the most important thing that we, we look at is to get a good timer because we want to be able to, to water our, our lawns at the proper time and the proper amount. You don't um, want to give it too much water, Yeah, you don't want to do that. So when we look at timers, we want to actually get a, a good timer that, can t uh, that you can place at about between 5 and 7 in the morning. You want to do the watering early in the morning. Okay. You want to evenly distribute the water throughout the, the lawn. You don't want to have dry spots and, and that. So, uh, so we have different timers at Home Depot. We have ones that, you could, that are for in-ground sprinklers. And this is a rain sensor. Yeah, we have a rain sensor, which is kind of important in Idaho because like you guys like seen on Monday, it rained and my sprinkler was, was on. Yeah, because the, the rain, timer's already set. Exactly. Yeah. So if you got a rain sensor, what happens is uh, it, it senses the rain and it will turn your sprinklers off automatically. Good. So and that'll save you some money too, exactly. of course. Now, if you don't have in-ground sprinklers, if you have just um, I'll be Vanna White. on ground, <laughs> overground sprinklers, we do have other timers for that. We have uh, digital timers that you can connect straight to your hose and that will go ahead and, and save you because sometimes when we go out there and we put those sprinklers on, we kind of forget, we go inside, we let it out there, and, and you know, two, three hours later, we go back and we see all the water that we just wasted. So, so even you if you don't have the whole system installed, you know, with the automatic sprinklers, hey, you can still put it on your hose and, and, and save water Exactly. That way. So this is, and this is for, for everybody, you can get one of these, that's perfect. And it looks like there's a lot of stuff, I mean, from around the house even, you have one of the uh, efficient toilets. One I'm of hanging the, out with the toilet. <laughs> one, of the, yep. one of the shower heads and everything. Talk a little bit about around the house stuff. Well, around the house, we want to have, uh, if you have like a toilet that's five years old or older, uh, it really wastes a lot of water. And nowadays, we have water efficiency on it, which typically is 1.1 gallon. That's what it's going to when you do a flush. Uh, the older ones are going to two, three gallons. So if you get one of these, you can probably save about $90 per person in a household per year. And who doesn't like saving money? You yeah, know, exactly, exactly. Right and, and if you can't, if you don't want to go ahead and, and get the, the toilet, you can also get a dual flush is something that is really cool and it's popular. It came out last year. Uh, it actually changes your, your way of flushing. You get the one or the two and it saves you a lot of water doing awesome. that, that thing too. No, wait a sec, you get to flush two times? Or? No, you get to flush one. If you do the one, you can just push the one and <laughs> okay, it does the I'll water. The and then if you have solids in it, you do gotcha. the number two. <laughs> so okay. it's something you can teach your kids about. Exactly. Too, you know, okay. Depending on which one comes out. And, so. and, around, and around the house, you really want to have aerator on every faucet. That's going to save you 30, 40% of water usage every time. So aerators on all the faucets would be perfect to have. Okay, and, and we've got some other tips that you guys uh, have for us as well that we can get up on screen. A lot of them, again, dealing with that outdoor stuff. Um, uh, we mentioned some, some drip irrigation. You have one of these soaker hoses as well, right? Yeah, soaker it's hoses are really good. Saves you about 70% of the water. It, um, it, as long as you have like bushes or trees, you can just put that around. It's not gonna, it's not gonna wet your lawn or, or places that you don't wanna get wet. It's gonna go directly to your, to your uh, plants and your shrubs. All right, so a lot of good water conservation yeah. stuff. Did you learn something, Tamara? You said you, your dad would be proud uh, of you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm supposed to ask about drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is the best. It is the best because it uh, puts the water directly to your plants, and that is, is going to save you a lot of water. Because if you put a sprinkler on, the water shoots out. You're going to wet soil where you don't want to get wet. So this directly uh, puts the water into your plants, into the root system. And you know, and also on a vegetable garden, it, uh, it puts the, the water directly to different type of plants. So you can adjust it. So if you have like a tomato plant that needs more water than, say, uh, an onion plant, then right. you can go ahead and do this, something like that. Fancy. Awesome stuff right there from the Home Depot. Thank you so much, Fernando, for coming in. And we'll have more of those tips from Home Depot, a whole list of them uh, on our website at KIVITV.com. And you can get another look at all of these things here. Good stuff.